All right, in the early days of the pandemic, at the height of keeping our distance, many businesses were forced to shut their doors. And not just temporarily. Some called it quits because of a lack of customers, others from a lack of staff. And this seemed to lean heavily into the restaurant industry. Here we are at the seemingly tail end of the pandemic, and one popular North End joint just shut their doors, like, suddenly, leaving many employees jobless. Why? Here's Katya Stepovic. Just four short days ago, it was a vibrant restaurant. The Hyde House on 13th Street in the North End welcomed foodies and music lovers alike. We felt that passing along the Hyde House to another family would be the best for the community. But that family brought operations to a screeching halt on April 1st, leaving dozens of employees jobless. As they put a sign out that they were short on staff, closed Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, when I opened the door, I said, hi, what's, what's going on? And she said, hi, we're done, we're closing. We have closed. Property owner Jill Monteith opened the Hyde House with her family in 2015 and found tenants to continue operation in 2021. We negotiated a deal with them to um, purchase the business and then to be my tenant in the home on a three-year lease. As we work so hard to bring the community um, a really fun, quaint restaurant. And the fun, quaint restaurant was enjoyed by many customers, but not all employees. Were they ever late on rent? You know, they were throughout the winter a few times. Sky McGee, is one of many young employees who worked at the Hyde House. I had a great time working there. Like, I, I loved my coworkers. My manager was awesome. But something big was missing. And our accounts were negative hundreds of hundreds of dollars. They showed absolutely no accountability. According to former employees, Cynthia Sawyer wasn't always paying them. So we got our, our check for the week and we put our resignation letters on the desk and then we took it to their bank, our, our checks, so that we could cash them instead of getting, you know, Mm -hmm. um, our accounts negative if we deposited bad checks mm -hmm. and the bank told us that there wasn't any money in the account so they couldn't even cash the checks. I couldn't pay rent, I couldn't make my car payments, I couldn't pay my cell phone, I couldn't pay my insurance. My account right now is overdrawn $989 because of the faulty checks. Diane Lawrence was a chef at the restaurant and said sometimes Cynthia would pay him in cash and when it was a check it was half the amount of what he should have been paid. It was supposed to be 1850 is what the check was supposed to be. She only wrote it for 610. The Department of Labor told KTVB that six wage claims have been filed against the Hyde House. All are in the fact finding stage. According to comments on a job posting website, Indeed, about her prior business called Living Resources, former employees say, quote, the owner lied about benefits, took benefit fees from checks, and no one was told. Another former employee saying payroll was often missed and the staff lacked integrity and leadership skills. Have you ever worked for any business like this? No, no, God, no. <laughs> never, never. This is um, definitely a first for me. According to employees, Cynthia has been unreachable since closing shop. While her whereabouts are still unknown, one thing that Jill says is for certain. We're going to be really careful on who we rent it to next, that it's going to be a viable, amazing part of the community. And that is the hope. Of course, I have done my research. I texted, called, messaged on social media, Cynthia, 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 rather, I have not heard back. All of Hyde House's social media pages have also been taken down and no phone number is listed online anywhere. So she just kind of vanished, right? And, and this is not something new, as you said in the story, this has happened before. It has happened before, and we've heard of several, you know, whispers about other businesses, but Boise Bistro, actually, just down the street from us, they did a six-month lease with her to rent out their coffee shop inside the market. Apparently, the owner tells me it was a bad from the get-go, and she was in and out in two months. She was also late on payments, and many of her checks bounced. Hmm. Eventually, she did pay them in cash, and they let her off of that six-month lease, so. And the only recourse for these employees that were left, well, without funds, uh, is just to file a claim? To file a claim and hope for the best, but as we know, everything for servers is about tips, yeah. and they're going to be reimbursed their wage, not necessarily their tips. Wow, unfortunate situation all around. All right, thank you very much, Katya.